talking about the truck. What, do you, what is your message for you? Well, we're calling for justice in this whole case. The community needs these questions answered. First of all, why did it take so long for the tape to be released? We know that a year ago, Mayor Emanuel was running for re-election. Could that be why the tape wasn't released a year ago? The cop wasn't brought up on charges until a year later when Anita Alvarez is running for re-election. Could that be why it took place now? We don't know these things, but the community has questions that need to be answered. Also, the police officer who murdered Laquan McDonald worked a desk job for over a year on our dime, on the taxpayer's dime. Who's going to refund us that money? Who needs to be held accountable? Who made the decisions? Who coerced the family to accept this $5 million without even seeing the videotape? So Anita Alvarez, she just said she wanted this investigation to take its course. Yes. She didn't want to charge now. She wanted to wait until the FBI was done. Yes. And it takes a long time. Do you understand the explanation that she had given for why this took so long? We do understand the explanation of why it took so long for charges to be brought. But it's unacceptable for it to take this long for the video to be released. And that's the question that we have today. Did you bring up those charges because you're running for re-election? Was the video withheld because the mayor was running for re-election a year ago? All these things, someone has to be held accountable from the community leaders to the police department. This goes all the way up to Superintendent McCarthy. He has to step down. Anita Alvarez has to go. And Mayor, I know that McCarthy is your man, but for your political life and your political future, he has to go. Do you think there's any way for this officer to get a fair trial? Oh, wow. Um, the videotape is proof enough for any jury to convict this man of murder. He was the second officer on the, uh, on the scene Within 30 seconds, he unloaded his weapon and he shot this young boy 16 times, although he released more than 16 bullets because on the videotape, you see the ground with bullets hitting the ground. So this is just murder. So I believe, actually, as I just asked you that question, I believe it will probably be a bench trial. So I mm -hmm. don't think they're going to have to worry about a jury. Now, there are a lot of demonstrations that are planned for today. Uh, what do you think about the protesters? Because last yes. night, I have to say, they were very hostile, they were very angry, they were trying to provoke police, I mean, we can't mince words about it. Um, and one of the community activists said, you have to understand, people are angry. Yes. So, there's a fine line, mm -hmm. correct? So well, you know, anger has to be controlled. And so, we embrace all those who are coming in from out of town, we, we embrace the march and the protest, but we're calling for peaceful protests. If you want to do any damage, we're asking everyone to boycott Black Friday. Withhold your money, withhold your dollar. That's the biggest damage that you can make. And so there'll be more protests today downtown. There'll be protests at City Hall today also as well. And this Saturday on 87 The Cottage Grove, there'll be a peaceful march for all the fallen souls. And remember, Jessica, we still haven't gotten over Tyshawn Lee's murder, and we're dealing with this. So what, that's a totally different case, though, yes. where you don't have a white police, police officer and, and a Act, yes. You know, uh, victim of a shooting. That mm -hmm. is what a. But emotions are still running high, you know, and you take the mourning aspect with the anger aspect, and then you're creating an emotional powder keg. And so we're calling for peace in Chicago today. So if you were to talk to a protester out there who's going to participate, they're thinking of getting in an officer's face, spitting, or shouting. I mean, I, I would assume you'd advise. Oh, well, let me, good idea to well, let me there, just right? say this. I know a lot of good cops, and I know I know a lot of decent cops. You can't take the actions of this one cop and judge all cops based on the actions of the one. So it's your right to protest. It's your right to freedom of speech, but it's not your right to break the law. So please protest in peace. And control your anger. And control right? it. That's right.